going to create a quick formula that's going to calculate the current age of a person and the only parameter that we need is the birth date and having the birth date and it's going to output whatever the current age is as the time when the sheet is being opened and what formula is being calculated. Go ahead and open up your Google Sheet and then we're going to add in some data here. So these are going to be dates that are going to figure out what the current age is of the person. So as of the current date. So this is going to be done with Google Apps Script as a formula going under the extensions Apps Script. Open up the Apps Script editor. Let me clear out the existing function so that we can start with a fresh function. And this is going to be calculating the age. So we're creating a fresh function and it's going to calculate the age. It's going to just take in the one parameter, which is going to be the birth date. And that's going to be the date value. And actually, this should be birth date, not birthday. So that's the date of the birth. So we want to figure out the birth date, the time in milliseconds. So the milliseconds, so taking using the date object, getting the date now in milliseconds. And we'll return them so that we can see the outputs within the sheets. So selecting the calculate age, going over to the cell where we want to use that. And then the formula bar, press equal, and then the formula function name. And it's going to require that one parameter. So add the parameter, press the equal sign. And that's going to be the number of milliseconds from that date to the current time, or that's just the current time right now. That's outputting the milliseconds. So we want to select the time for the birth date. So use the birth date value that was just passed in. And use the get time method in order to turn back the date. So we see that that updates. And the older the person is, the difference there within the milliseconds. So we want to figure out what the age difference is. And some of them are falling before the Unix timestamp, so we need to adjust for that. And selecting the value there for the adjusted time. So let's make that and get the date age. So selecting up the age date. And we need the date object. And then pass in the value that we've got for the milliseconds. And then let's return that value back. So once that updates, that's returning back a date value there from the milliseconds. And we want to make an update that. And using another calculation, we're going to get the current age. So the current age is going to use the math abs method and the abs method is going to ensure that the age is always going to be positive so it's always going to be an absolute value and a positive value and then taking the age date we get the utc the unix time stamp date full year and we're going to subtract the 1970 out of it so now it's returning back the values for the age of the person to the current date. So if we were to add in a new date here, so if the person was, say, they're really old, uh, let's try a few other ones. So it's May of 1905. Let's uh, go back to the current date, so 7, 1905. Because today is the 7th of May, so it's making that calculation. And as this person is slightly going to be younger, so they're going to still be 117 on this current date. So you can adjust the dates and see the adjustment within the days and the time. You can also make some adjustments on the year to see what different values get loaded for the age. And that's how you can calculate the age using a formula within Google Sheets with AppScript.